Hello and welcome to day number two of Wake Up With Joe, my short 15 minute workout series to get you moving, lift your mood, lift your energy and hopefully have you feeling a little bit more energized and positive for the rest of the day. We're gonna start things off with a three minute warm up. So I'll start the timer, then we're gonna go into our 15 minute full body workout and the last five exercises are gonna be an abs finisher, so core abs for the last five minutes. So first one, stretch up, touch your toes. So stretch up for the arms, come over, touch the touch toes. Stretch up, touch your toes. Good, we're just gonna warm up for a few minutes and then go into our first exercise, stretch. One more, up, touch your toes. Good, we're now gonna go into a downward dog position. So high plank, just walk the feet in a little bit and then push down and just walk those toes. So walk the heels, heels to the, to the ground. Just walk in, pushing those hands into the ground as well. So really open up your shoulders, left to right. Brilliant, I hope you enjoyed our first workout. This is day number two. I'm doing one every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So three brand new workouts every week to get us through this time. Right, so now I'm gonna go into a position on the floor. It's called a 90-90. So you're gonna basically open up our hips a little bit. So try and sit like this, 90 degrees like that. Now, you might not be able to sit up straight, you might be a little bit to the side, but just feel that stretch if you can, hands on the ground, lean over, feel it stretching the outside of your thigh and your glutes, and then rotate, same thing. So it's, you're gonna feel it stretching the inside there, but also the outside of this hip. Perfect. Sort of lean into it, put that weight through the heel and the knee, drive it into the ground. You're gonna feel that opening up your hips. Same again, one more on each side. This is called a 90-90. It's a great exercise for opening up the, the internal and external rotation of your hip. It's really gonna help with your lunges and your squats. Same again. Perfect. Next one, hands on the ground. Just sit back into your heels. Stretch your lats. So feel it stretch through here. Good, pushing those hands into the ground. Nice straight arms and just push down. Feel the stretch in those lats. Perfect, right. Next one, up we get. We're gonna come down into a squat, come down nice and low, and then just rotate left and right. So you could sort of, if you need to come up onto the ball of your foot, that's fine. But stick that hand into the ground, sort of hit your knee, and then you open up your chest as well as your, your hips. Brilliant, we've got another 20 seconds, then we're starting with our first exercise. Last one. Perfect, so that's a nice little warm up. Open up our joints, shoulders, chest, hips. So first exercise is gonna be a squat, lunge, lunge. So we do one squat, and then we reverse lunge, reverse lunge. And that's our first exercise, here we go. So squat down low, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, and repeat. Oh, these laces, right, keep going. So, so one squat, two lunges. Squat down, lunge, Lunge and repeat, nice deep squat. Squat low, lunge and lunge. Perfect, keep it going. So that little warm up, although it's only a short one, it does help us you know, just open up our joints before we start going to these squats. Five seconds. One more nice squat and relax, brilliant. We rest for 25 seconds. Next exercise is gonna be a hand release push up. So, you can do this from the knees if you want. You come down, chest hits the floor, release the hands, and press up. So down, release the hands, push up. Or you can do the full push ups, same thing. That's obviously much harder on the core. Let's go. So release the hands, press up. There's no cheating on this one. You've got to go right down and push. But if you're coming up like this and your back's arching, you haven't got the core strength, I'd rather be doing from the knees. Abs tight, press up. And then when you work up to the strength, you can then do full push ups, but you have to really tighten your abs as you press up. So come up in one straight line. Release those hands, power up. Last one. Well done, recover. So remember, we're doing 15 moves, but the last five is a five minute abs finisher. So just focus on the core. 
Next exercise we're going to do, two options. So normal body weight squats, or if you want to take it up another level, it's squat jumps. You just land softly and spring up. Here we go, I'm going to do the jumps. So squat jumps for 35 seconds. So I'm just landing nice and softly and then exploding up, get off the ground. Explosive power, come on. Big jumps. Brilliant, come on. Up we get. Keep jumping. Ah. Ah. All right, shake your legs off. Little drink. Next one I want to do is plank shoulder taps. So we're in a high plank position. Like this, if you want to just, this is the beginner version. Just hold. But if you want to go a bit more intense, tap, tap, tap. Off we go. And the key here is to not rock your hips. Keep your abs engaged. Back nice and flat, man. You've got a glass of water on your lower back. And you try not to spill it. Squeeze those abs. That's it, come on. That's too hard, just hold the plank. You've got seven seconds on the clock. Come on. Abs. Well done. Yeah, when you don't rock left and right, you really have to engage your core to do that, so quite a tough one. Right, next we're gonna do number five, sumo squats. So, we're gonna turn our, I'm out of breath, we're gonna turn our legs out, wider, come down. So it's a sumo squat, feet turned out, off we go. Get down low, get down low, and when you come up, Stand up, squeeze your quads, squeeze your glutes. That's it, come on. 20 seconds left. Remember, it's only 15 moves. Each one's different. We've got 10 seconds left. Next one's gonna be a tricep extension, a tricep dip, sorry. So now we're going to focus on our triceps. This is number six. So, what we do, this is really tough, this one. Hands on the ground, we lift ourselves up to this, and what we're going to do, we just bend and straighten those arms, so it absolutely destroys the back of your arms. Let's go, all right. So just lift your bar up slightly. Bend those elbows and push up. Oh, that's so hard. The further your feet are away, the harder it is. The closer they are, the easier it becomes. So, so bend. Oh, how hard are they? 10 seconds left. Push up. Ah. Oh, oh, they're no joke. If you found those too hard, another alternative is just kind of narrow, narrow um, grip push up. So you can do similar ones like that where you keep the elbows tucked in. That, that also really hits your triceps. Okay, next up, number seven. Run on the spot. 35 seconds of high intensity sprinting. Let's go. It's really got a heart rate up now. Fast feet, lift those knees up, pump the arms. Faster. Last few seconds, 10 on the clock. Come on. Speed up, five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Oh, right. 
Next exercise, burpees. Two options, you can go chest to floor, full burpees, or you can do the slow motion ones, which is like this. Off we go, so it's either chest to floor, like that, or slow motion ones where you just step out, step up, reach up. You decide, come on. 20 seconds left. Come on. Keep going, you got 10 seconds. Right, last one together. Hands down, up, and recover. Two more high intensity ones, then we stop. Slow down for the abs. Remember, if any exercise I get to, you say that's not for me, I hate it, it's too difficult, you can't do it, just swap it. Swap it for a plank, a press up, a run on the spot, swap it for anything you like, star jumps. Next exercise is lunge jumps. So lunge, jumps, off we go. If they're too intense, you just do a reverse lunge. Okay, so reverse lunges or lunge jumps for 35 seconds. We've got 20 on the clock. So like lunge, stabilize it, spring up, stabilize. All right, burns this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Ow. Oh, right, that's very quad dominant. So we're now going to do a hamstring exercise for the back of our legs. Okay, so this is hamstrings and glutes. It's called a glute bridge. Oh. So feet on the ground. What we're going to do is just drive ourselves up. Lifting our hips. Nice and high off the ground. So you're really thinking about clenching your glutes, driving up. That's it, come squeeze, hamstring and glutes. Right, we're going into our five minute abs finishing then after this. Five minutes on the ground, working the abs. Squeeze those glutes. Okay, let's hold the last few seconds, hold up. Lift, tense this, squeeze it. Squeeze, hold it. Oh, and rest. Brilliant. Okay, staying on the ground. Five minute abs to finish. We're gonna start off by doing single leg crunches. So feet sort of stay on the ground, and then one at a time, we crunch, trying to get those fingertips to touch the shin. Come on, let's go, last five minutes. Crunch. You're doing really well so far. Finish it with me, finish the workout. 15 minutes is doable. It's not long. It's over really quick. Don't hold your breath. Nice deep breaths. Nice couple of seconds. Squeeze those abs. One more to finish. Ah. And relax, good work. Next thing I'm gonna do is heel taps. So we're gonna lift ourselves up, slightly off the ground. So shoulders come off the ground, so they're engaged. And then we go left to right. So you'll feel that you know, in your obliques down the side. Okay, so lift up slightly. Let's go. Looking straight for the ceiling. Left to right. Trying to touch those heels. Same again, keep going. Left to right. We've got oh, 10 seconds left. This is really hurt me, this one. Deep breath, come on. Last couple, Joe. Left, right. Oh. Right, relax. Neck relax now, head on the ground. We're gonna do reverse crunches. So hands by your side, 
heels hit the ground and then drive them back. So you're sort of trying your knees to your chest, heels off, hips off the ground. That's where the effort comes in on the abs. So it's in the reverse crunch part of it. Let's go. Knees to chest. That's it. Drive. Squeeze those abs. Get your hips off the ground. Deep breaths. Oh, I'm nearly there. Come on, 10 seconds. Oh, that's a long, it's a long old 35 minute, come on. Oh, ah, and relax. Okay, next one we're gonna do is, oh, is the bicycle crunches. So one leg at a time, we go one, two, and take your time with these. Crunch, and make sure you get that elbow to the knee. Oh, come on, two more moves. Ah, uh, all right, one, slow it down. Think about contracting these like any other muscle, you've got to shorten it, contract it, make them strong. Few seconds, 10 on the clock. Crunch, twist, ah, oh. ow. Right, this is it. Final move. The last 35 seconds, nice simple elbow plank. We're already really fatigued, you're gonna feel this a lot. Remember, you wanna have your back nice and flat, elbows on the ground, and pull your tummy like up towards your spine. So you can, if you want, do it from the knees. This is a beginner version. And then if you want, up, up, on the, up off the knee, just go. So remember, we are not gonna be up here like this. Don't dip your back. Engage those muscles now, squeeze them. Think about them working. Connect with the muscles you're trying to use now. This is all in the abs, deep core muscles. <sighs> Brace it. Suck it up. <sighs> ah, last one, 15 seconds. Come on, squeeze. Right, it's getting tough now, hold it. Hold it till the bell goes, don't drop. Solid now, solid now, squeeze it up. Exhale, up. Oh. Oh. I'll tell you what, five minutes from now is enough. Well done, that's it. Day number two, wake up with Joe. Hope you enjoyed that, thanks for joining me again. Please remember, hit subscribe because then you'll be notified when the next workouts go live. And tell as many friends and family as you can about these workouts because they're gonna be helping so many people. I'm doing it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, posting it at 6 a.m. UK time, but they're always gonna be, you can come back and do them anytime. Oh, excuse me. Oh, so, thanks again for taking part. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you on Friday for workout number three of Wake Up With Joe. Take care.